ladies, I'm feeling very flowy and feminine. I put on a flowy skirt, one of my playful skirts, which I used to wear all the time, but I have not worn a flowy skirt in months. And so I woke up the last couple days feeling particularly creative, feeling particularly playful, feeling particularly abundant. I'm the type of person that feels abundance every single day. It's part of the business my business model and it's what I do for a living in terms of manifesting abundance and teaching women about prosperity, mindset and wealth creation. But it was amazing. And I felt this need to have it reflect in my entire being. And I don't know if you guys remember when I started the channel, I said I was going to start working on being a little bit more spontaneous with my hair and more creative because it's not something that I usually have done very easily. So with me trying to bring in this new sacral chakra energy, the orange energy, I'm finding that it's really affecting me. I have been, um, so I'm going to show you a playful style. I've been working since the moon cycle several days ago and the, new, the full moon is coming in, I think, in about six days. I've been working with that energy, guys, and this is the first time I really have been setting an intention with the moon energy, and I'm feeling some serious shifts. I've been doing that as well as working with this Moldavite stone, which I've worked with before, has an extremely strong energy. You can actually hold it and you feel the energy. This is a serious, like, spiritual stone. This is the divine masculine and feminine coming together. The meteorite hitting the earth, the feminine energy creates this. So this is not an earthbound stone. It is amazing. But I've been working with this and another stone called uh, ch charcoal pyrite. And I swear to God, they're having some serious effects, guys. I'm looking younger. I'm looking more vibrant. I'm feeling wonderful. I'm back into my feminine energy right now. My intuition has taken leaps and bounds just within the last eight days. And the different business ventures that I have going on are really starting to, I can't even tell you. Um, so you're going to see me do my hair. I'm just putting a little oil in it, guys. You know, this is our special oil. We made it together online uh, the other day. So um, you're going to see me put this in. But I've been working with this, 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 this energy. And my intuition took a huge leap yesterday in a way that I hadn't expected. And it really brought to me this whole point about you have to become, you, you really start to embody what it is you want to become. You really have to begin to embody it. So I'm realizing now that all of these prayers that I've made for the increase of my psychic energy and my um, third eye, let me just say the third eye. And some people don't like the word psychic. It just means the other senses that are not physical, the ones that God gave you to help you navigate the world. It's your first eye. You had, before you had two eyes, you had a, a spiritual eye when you came into the world. That's all I'm talking about. But yeah, so embracing that. I had a situation yesterday where I was doing some filming for one of my other channels. And you know, who needs the parts, right? Like who needs that? Let's, let's do a messy type spontaneous kind of thing here. I'm going to put two ponytails here. I want to do two playful styles for you guys today. This is your chance to step out of your boundaries, your chance to flow like water and open up your sacral chakra because that's what I'm doing. So two playful styles that um, initially when I went to do it for my hair, to, 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 to put the styles in my hair, I was like, you're too old for this. But I was like, says who? And I can be anything I want to be. Like, I can look any way I want to look. And this is how I'm feeling. So I want to express my inner abundance externally. So that's what I decided to do. And I do want to read a card for you guys today. Inspirational, a daily inspirational um, <sighs> nugget. I think it's important. I think maybe leave this out. I don't think I did before. Okay, so what I'm doing, guys, I just split it in the middle. And you know, I've had these curls in. You guys saw me put them in. I think we're going on nine days maybe or something, and they're still very curly. Perfect time to uh, do stuff with them. Y'all know what I'm doing, right? When you see the lint, you have to catch it where you find it. Yep, there it is. Sorry, guys. Be patient. 
So the first style, you're going to see me put these two little babies in there. And, uh, okay. I left a little bit at the bottom, right? And I'm just going to wrap this around like this. You know, see? Now this weekend they weren't this tight. They were a little more flowy. You see, that's going to be more tight. I don't think I want it tight like that. So I'm not going to grab it from the back. I'm going to grab it from maybe in the center because I need them more loose. That's how they were this, this weekend when I did it. And I guess they'll just start to fall too on their own. Because you can have it higher up and you can have it lower. Let's just try it this way. It's a little higher than it looked this weekend. But anyway, okay. So I'm just twisting that hair around naturally and I'm just gonna pull it through. You see that? I just pull it, pulled it through like that. And it's going to stay for you all day. And now we're going to do the other one. What do you think about that? We pull from the center, right? Somewhere in the center. I'm taking a, a lock of hair like this. And I'm going to lift this up. You want a messy bun type thing. So don't try to comb it and make it perfect. Just let it do its thing. You know, it's got an imperfection. Leave it like that, you know? It's all about flow. Now, I wrap this one this way, and you see how I'm going to run short. I wrapped it from back to front. So let's undo that. I'm new at this, remember? And we're going to wrap from front to back. So, and try this, guys. Be bold. Like, go to work with your hair like this. Like, be bold. The kids will love it. They'll love it. Be bold. We, we, we get stuck in these stereotypes and these ways of being that are stale as hell and we need to feel free and it's all about flow baby this is the feminine consciousness time and they weren't quite this they did look a little different this weekend they weren't quite as uh but anyway it's hey you can't have anything the same way twice right so this is what it's looking like everybody what do you think you know and i'm going to wear it like this today i am now I let's also see what it looks like if we bring it down a little bit closer all right that can give me an entirely different look let's let's see what that's going to be like I'm going to take this out and I've got to grab that abundance deck for you guys so just give me a sec please okay I'm back so we're going to just make it a little bit lower right guys not as high up we're experimenting with what it's going to look like and this is not the second style yeah this is more what it was like this weekend now that I'm looking at it so yeah, so I tuck that in, right? It's underneath, I'm just using my hair. I don't need a scrunchie or anything. It's not that tight. Totally different look, right? Um, let's pull this one down. I think I like it this way better. And again, this is a style when you're like, you know what? I want to be playful. I want to be young again. I want to embrace my full feminine power to be creative and flow and carefree and, you know, indulge your pleasures. Trust me, how you dress on the outside, whether you're dressing with your hair or your makeup or whatever, it affects you on the inside. And, and what you feel like on the inside affects you, affects you on the outside. That's why no matter what's going on in my life, and we all have ebbs and flows. I always get up and make sure I feel beautiful. I get dressed so that if I'm not feeling great on the inside, I can inspire myself on the outside, which will help me feel better on the inside. Just like you can work, do the work that needs to be done on the outside by starting on the inside. So what do you guys think? That's right, right? Okay, I just want to pull a card for you guys today. Whatever car the divine or spirit wants you to know as it relates to your abundance today because I'm feeling so abundant I have to share and life is about giving and receiving right we have to share our wins as well as our losses and hardships so I'm just gonna pull one card for you guys and it says organize for success do not let the word organize intimidate you it is, as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know and plan your next steps. That's important because in order for us to be abundant, we have to clear clutter from our lives because we have to clear old stagnant energy in order to let in the new stuff. So that is a very powerful message. It's not just organizing 
your physical world. It's organizing this, it's organizing your emotions, it's clearing clutter and preparing for success. This next style, everybody, I'm gonna put on my glasses. If you don't have any real glasses, that's fine. Get yourself some fake ones. You know, pretend today to be somebody different. Pretend today to pull in another energy. We have to be very intentional about what it is we're trying to create. And if you're trying to bring a new energy into your life, what do you have to do, everybody? You gotta be a new energy, right? Girlies, beauties, you gotta embrace a new energy, right? And that's where I am. So here we go, ladies. I'm putting on my little glasses. When I got these, I wanted to look cool. At this time, I was teaching in Atlanta Public Schools. And I got this little tint on them. They look like shades, but they're not. They're so cool. Okay, so anyway, here we go. I got this already done, right? And you don't have to do this part first, but since it's like this, I'm going to try it out. We're going to see how it works. I'm going to put these little balls. As you see, it's going to be a little harder to twist. Some of the hair is falling out, but that might actually be cute, right? To let some of that hair fall out. I'm not so sure because I've already got this securing it, if it's going to be as easy for me to stabilize it without something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in for a backup because I'm thinking it had I wrapped it without this and we can try the next one this way, it may be a little bit easier. And I'm going to let this... Uh, hair just do whatever the heck it wants to do okay what do you think ladies and I probably you know want to leave a little bit of that out that's kind of cute I might actually okay I'm liking that so y'all gonna make let me take this one out because I said we we're gonna try it the other way right let's try it without it already being huh I think I like it with it well I don't know about that look at this what y'all think Hmm. Stick. My hair is thick, y'all. I think that's even bigger than that one. I want to try it again. Y'all are with me as I'm being reborn, so be patient. This is not something that I rehearse because you need to see the real deal, right? I'm all about keeping it real. We're all real. I'm pulling this tight, guys. I'm feeling stability, but I'm still going to secure it now. What do I have? I have these. I use these for a lot of things. I'm going to try this. I have this, but it's fat and gray, and I don't have a spare girlies. So I'm going to use this and see how this will work. I love these pipe cleaners. I clean my bathroom pipes with them. Just jokes. <laughs> but uh, let's see, ladies, what we got going on here. Yeah, I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. Yeah, so what do y'all think? You know, I think I'd like to have some more hair hanging down here, but uh, I feel pretty smart. Do I look smart? You are with Tunisia Ali of Tunisia's Locks, and I am inspired, hoping to inspire you today to embrace your divine feminine energy, to flow, to be creative, to indulge your pleasures, your passions, and your need to take flight. Have a beautiful, loving afternoon, my sisters. Namaste. The light in me honors the light in you. And by the way, you guys have been leaving me the most loving comments and they so inspire me. You have no idea. Like I feel like I'm always talking about quantum physics and entanglement and being connected to everything and everybody at the same time and transcending time and space. You guys make me feel like I have virtual relationships with all of these wonderful women. Like I'm so inspired. Every time I get a comment, I'm like, gotta stop what I'm doing I gotta acknowledge this you know I'm gonna stop in time and space and let my sisters know that I'm just so grateful that you guys are watching the channel because you could be doing anything else right much love much light much peace much balance much happiness go into your flow <laughs>